Thank you for your question today. I'm uh, Nguyễn Đức Mạnh, internal medicine resident doctor. Today I will present you my study, the study conduct under the guidance of Professor Ngu Kỳ Châu and Dr. Nguyễn Thị Phương Thủy. As we know, COPD is a chronic disease with many uh, serious disorders. The respiratory tract is a huge burden in public health worldwide and including Vietnam. Osteoporosis related fracture along with a reduced ability to move that makes COPD patients be at a higher risk of mortality. Therefore, we decided uh, to conduct this study to determine the risk of osteoporosis in patients with COPD at the COPD outpatient clinic at uh, my hospital and evaluated the risk, risk factor of osteoporosis in their patients. COPD is a truly objective lung disease characterized by long-term breathing problem and poor airflow. Spirometry is gold standard for diagnosis COPD. COPD is determined when ganglion index spot test less than 70%. Based on the present of uh, spirometry, gold divide COPD into four steps based on FEV1 and GON also divide COPD patients into four groups based on their severity symptom and number of exacerbation. Osteoporosis is a disease of the bone system leading to decrease in bone mass. According to the cost, osteoporosis is divided into two types, primary and secondary osteoporosis. There are many methods to diagnose osteoporosis. The current gold standard for diagnosis is desired. Osteoporosis is defined when the T score is less than or equal to minus 2.5. A COPD patient has a number of risk factors for osteoporosis, such as smoking, vitamin, vitamin D deficiency, BMI reduced, degree mortality, and use of glucocorticoids. Therefore, COPD patients may have a higher risk of having osteoporosis. While having osteoporosis, they may develop secondary fracture, which may lead to a higher risk of deep venous thrombosis, higher risk of pulmonary embolism, and increased risk of mortality. According to the systematic review conducted by Peng Chen, the proportion a patient with osteoporosis vary from 40 to uh, 37. Uh, their study show that there are many risk factors uh, related with osteoporosis in COPD patients. My study including 60 COPD patients at COPD outpatient clinic in back my hospital. This is a decrease cross uh, sectional study uh, conduct a COP outpatient clinic at my hospital from October 2019 to October 2020. Uh, we use SPSS 30 for data analysis. This is my reason. Uh, COPD patient in my study have a average of SE65, BMI is 30. The rest of previous systematic uh, systemic corticosteroid use in patient is forty three point three percent, with three point three percent currently using it. Uh, the number of patient in uh, group D account for the biggest proportion among those who took part in the study followed by group B and C. The percent of patients with osteoporosis in our study is 38.3% uh, and the percent of osteopenia is was 41.6%, uh, similar to the verbom study in, uh, 30 and, and in uh, 2009 with the rest of 
osteoporosis is 35.1% in the Trần Văn Ban study. The percent of patients with osteoporosis is 76.7% in the study of Trần Văn Ban. The number of female patients account for 19% and uh, average of eight higher which increase the incidence of osteoporosis in patients. The diagnosis of osteoporosis is based on the score of two positions, femoral leg and number spine. And here is the reason of the T score of the femoral leg and the number spine. Uh, when the con when consider effect of corticoids to bone density, we find that the OR is 9.7 and the 95% confidence interval from 2.9 to uh, 33.2 diagnosis content one. That's uh, and P value is less than uh, 0.05. That means the patient with previous use of systemic uh, corticosteroid has a 9.7 time higher risk of osteoporosis than the other groups. Besides the corticoids, we also evaluated several other factors affecting to osteoporosis in their patients, such as age, BMI, respiratory function, inflammatory marker, that uh, ev when evaluated uh, patient inflammatory markers such as ERS and Y block cell and leukotriene, the difference between the two groups who has uh, osteoporosis and non osteoporosis was not statistically significant. When, when analysis uh, BMI and osteoporosis, we found that the, in the group of patients with higher BMI, the percentage of patients with osteoporosis also decrease compared with the group with lower BMI. However, the OR is 0.5 and 95% confidence interval from 0.1 and to uh, 1.9 content one and the p value is more than 0.05. That the difference is not statistics or significant, similar to the eight. The result of uh, for osteoporosis group based on the duration of COPD year of smoking and spec year, the 95. 95% confidence interval quotient one, and the p-value is more than 0.05 mean. Uh, the difference is not statistically significant. Compare between uh, group of uh, patient based on group and state uh, classification according to the goal, like 13, 19, also so low difference between two groups. Uh, so we conclude the rate of osteoporosis in stable COPD patient is 38.3% and uh, for the significant, the statistical significant influence factor is history of systemic corticosteroid. Uh, so we recommendation is it is necessary to comprehensive as the risk factor of for osteoporosis in patients to conduct a timely bone density measurement. Avoid using systemic corticosteroid helps prevent osteoporosis in patients with COPD. Uh, thank you for your attention.